Well, hello there. I'm going to show you how to do the twisted ripple stitch. And I'm going to be able to show you how it looks on a number of things. So this is done on a 5 8 inch gauge. This is the headband I'm working on. And this is on a 5 8 inch gauge. And I'm using a King Cole yarn. It's a thinner, chunky. And it's made with wool, 30% uh, wool, 80% acrylic. And this color is joyful. The color is joyful. And so here's what the stitch looks like. I get it close so you can see it. There it is. And it does have a twisty ri ripple kind of look to it. So that's what it looks like. A lot of texture to it. Um, you can see at the side here all the texture. And here's what your back looks like. It looks pretty cool. And so that's what it looks like if I'm using um, a thinner bulk. It's about the size of a scarfy yarn, so a little, just a little bit bigger than a 4 on a 5 8 inch gauge. Now I have another one that was all uh, done on a three quarter inch gauge. And this one is a bulky yarn. It's a lot thicker. I'm going to compare it. They're both bulkies, but it's a lot thicker of a yarn. You can see them right beside each other. Quite a bit thicker. It's uh, closer to a Charisma kind of yarn. And um, here's the look of the same stitch. So as you can see, it looks quite different. It'd be suitable for a blanket or anything that you want to make that you want to get the uh, tighter weave and your back looks like this. Quite a cool look. And so I did this swatch for another project I'm going to do with this stitch. I really like the way that it looks in this yarn. And this yarn is a uh, Aspen yarn. It's a Mary Maxim yarn. And the color is Mountain Peak. Mountain Peak is the color. <laughs> Strange color. <laughs> Mountain Peak. <laughs> but but uh, just don't see how it goes with the color. And uh, it's, a, it's a number five bulky, just like this other one is. But this one is 100% acrylic, but it has the feeling of wool. I quite like it. And then I also have another swatch, and this is it in the round. And to get it in the round, when you're working in the round, you're going around and around and around the same way. So when I don't want to have to go around, even on a small loom forever, to see what it looks like in the round, what I do is I cut some strips. And I just keep putting on a new strip and knitting it, starting back at the same point, putting on a new strip. So it's the same as going around, so I can see what a stitch will look like in the round. So I can show you, come on camera, there we go. I can show you what it looks like in the round, so it looks quite different in the round. You're not going to get the same look at all. It looks like a, almost a completely different stitch, but it's still a nice stitch. It... Um, if you have it in a really dense, dense fabric, it's going to look like this. I don't have a very big swatch. I just wanted to have an idea. And um, each of these little things has a, um, I don't know what you call them, but they have a lot of texture to them. So it works in the round and it's easy to do because it's all done on one peg, but you are going to get a very different look in the round. Okay, so that gives you a view of the round. That shows you what it looks like thicker. And um, there's what it looks like upside down. It has a really wonderful, wonderful texture to it. And then I'm just going to go and show you how to do the stitch. I'm glad I had all those different swatches uh, so you could see what it looked like in different ways. I don't always have all that. And you have to look at all my projects to see how it looks different. But there, you can just see it from the stitch video. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the stitch. And if you want to see the stitch done more, take a look at my project video. I'm going to have at least a headband up fairly quickly. Or it might even already be up. <laughs> Not sure which one will end up 
there first. Okay, so I'm going to take the working yarn and I'm just going to wrap it over the peg in a U-wrap and knit it over. I'm going to come back and go over it again in another U-wrap. That's how I do owl eye on one peg. Then I'm going to come around it again and do a purl over. And the purl over stitch is Teresa Higby's stitch and she named it the purl over. Gave me permission to use it in my videos. So I'm going to show you how you do it. Now you come over it in a knit way, not in a purl way. And you come under the peg, scoop up the yarn. So you got it. Then go over on top of your working yarn and pull up a loop. And then you're not going to knit anything off. You're just going to flip it over and tighten it. So you just flipped it over. And you come back to the next peg. That's all you do. It's all done on one stitch. Three wraps on a peg. You do the U-wrap, come around again, knit it off, come around again, go from the bottom, scoop up the top, and I just flip it over right on my loom hook. Okay, and you tighten it. So come over, go over it again, over it another time, take the bottom loop from the bottom, scoop it up, and I'll do it the long way again, just like this, and just lay it over and tighten it. And I'm going to show you how I do mine so it goes faster. So you go over, over, over a third time, come down, scoop up the loop. Now I've got hold of this working yarn so I'm pulling it tighter so that when I put it, flip it over the peg, it's already nice and tight the right tension. And you want to check your tension. You want it to be tight, but you want it to be loose enough that you can actually easily knit it over. If it gets too tight, go back and just loosen it up right after you've done it because then you can. Okay, and I'm going to get nice and close and show you the stitch again. There's a little gear bottom right. If you click on it, it can slow down your video and it will help you to see the stitch. You can watch it in slow motion. So I'm just going to go over it in a U-wrap, over it again in a U-wrap, and back one more time and over it again and hold the working yarn, come under it, scoop up the yarn, and flip it over the pe peg. That's all there is to it. Knit, knit, purl over stitch. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Knit over, knit over, from the bottom, scoop up the working yarn and knit it over. Okay, and then I'm just going to do um, what I'm doing on the end peg for my headband so I can turn around and show you going the other way. What the stitch is like. If you want to see this project headband, it's on my YouTube channel or will be on soon within a few days of each other. Okay, back to a peg. So we go over this way to U-wrap, knit it over, go behind and in front again, knit it over, behind and in front again, go in from the bottom, pull out the, the yarn, the top, there's your loop, and put it over. Just flip it over the top of the peg, okay, knit. Come around again, knit, come around again, bottom, scoop up the working yarn and flip it over. And tighten and make sure they're all the right tension. So over, knit it, over, knit it, 
over, bottom, pick it up and flip it over. Okay, again, doing a U-wrap over it, coming back around, doing a U-wrap over it again, coming back around, holding it in the U-wrap position, going under the bottom loop, scooping up the top loop and flipping it over the peg. knitting and I'm just going to do the rest of the row and you can just watch me do it slowing it down if you need to and that's all there is to it three stitches on a peg well, very easy to do just have to have it sort of click <laughs> and then away you go and there you go there's how you do the stitch so I hope you enjoy it I hope you have fun doing it I've showed you what it looks like um, like this I've showed you what it looks like tighter and I've pulled this out to show you what it can look like lacy so you have a good idea how this stitch looks so have fun and until I see you next time Bye.